And a developing story, apologies from those UCLA basketball players facing shoplifting charges in China. In fact, they just admitted that they did shoplift, and now they're talking about their crime. President Trump did help to negotiate with the Chinese government, and he tweeted this morning, do you think the three UCLA basketball players will say thank you, President Trump? They were headed for 10 years in jail. Well, the president did get some gratitude at that news conference this morning. Let's get right to our KCAT Line Sports Director, Jim Hill. He's live at Poly Pavilion on the UCLA campus. And, Jim, certainly sounds like these guys aren't going to be playing basketball mm. for a while. Senator, they certainly will not. The Bruins have a home game tonight, and they will not be playing for quite some time. And you're absolutely correct, because earlier today, UCLA announced that the three uh, young basketball players who were arrested for shoplifting while the team was in China well, they will be suspended indefinitely. At a press conference here at Pauley Pavilion earlier today, you saw it on our sister station, CBS 2, at about 11 o'clock this morning. Uh, at that press conference, Jalen Hill, Cody Riley, and LiAngelo Ball all addressed the incident in China and apologized for their actions. I apologize to my family, my coaches, my teammates, and UCLA for letting so many people down. I also apologize to the people of China for causing them so much trouble. I'm a young man, however, it's not an excuse for making a really stupid decision. I'd also like to thank President Trump and the United States government for the help that they provided as well. I'm grateful to be back home, and I'll never make a mistake like this again. I know that this goes beyond me letting my school down, but I've let the entire country down. To so President Trump and the United States government, thank you for taking the time to intervene on our behalf. We really appreciate you helping us out. I'm sorry for shoplifting. What I did was stupid. There's just no other way to put it, and I'm not that type of person. I hope that this mistake will not define me as a person, but it shows I have messed up and can learn from it. I don't want to be known for this dumb mistake. I want to be known for my respectfulness and my love and passion for the game of basketball. And thank you to the United States government and President Trump for your efforts to bring us home. So the young players did uh, thank President Trump for the uh, part that he played in gaining their freedom. Like I said, the Bruins have a basketball game tonight here at Pauley Pavilion. They will not play tonight, and they have been suspended indefinitely. A lot of us believe that come conference time, we may, we just may see them back on the basketball court. And, of course, we'll have more on this for you later this afternoon on KCAL 9 and on our sister station, CBS 2. Reporting live from Pauley Pavilion, I'm Jim Hill.